Last time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue. I'm not scaring away the fish. And now, continuing on. Hello Trips and Toots, Gundo here and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Alright. We have to surf along this water now. Because we are so close for reaching back home, aren't we? Which means we will have made a completely full circle around the Kanto region. And that is awesome. And we only have one more gym to fight as well. And I know exactly where it is. It's that gym where we saw right at the start but we couldn't get in because some old guy was blocking the door. But hopefully, now that we've got seven out of the eight gym badges, hopefully that uh, gym will have opened. If not, then, well, then I have no idea what to do. But yeah, that also means that we're slowly coming up to the end of the game. All that's left is once we've uh, fought the last gym, we need to head to the uh, the badge gates at the Pokemon League, get through them, go through Victory Road, make it to the actual main building of the Pokemon League, and fight the Elite Four and then the Pokemon League Champion. So yeah, we're getting very close to the end of the game. Hello, Mr. Thongai. We haven't seen you in a while. Last time we saw one of you, uh, I think it was Cycling Road, wasn't it? But to see one of your, uh, yeah, one of your guys swimming? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong. It's just kind of strange. But anyway, come on, I want to go home. I want to see my mummy. My mumsy. Mumsy. He's level 49. Good, only one more level and he will reach level 50 and then I can move on to something else. Although I can't wait until they all get to at least level 35. Uh, sorry, 55. Especially John. Because then that means he will evolve into his final form, Dragonite. And then that means that every single one of my Pokemon will have now fully evolved into their final forms. And then my final team will be fully complete. Cheap shot. Oh well. Oh, here's a, another pier. Alright, let's see what you got. A fisherman. A magic cup. Hmm. Alright. Uh, we, oh, here we go. Back to the island. Another magic cup. Alright. Oh, Ian, you missed. Gonna have to get the health back. Another magic harp? Are you serious? Is that all, all you're gonna have is just six magic harps? Well, we're gonna have to find out. Three Pokemon down, three Pokemon left to go, and yep, another Magic Carp. Jesus. It would be alright if you had six Gyaradoses, but six Magic Carps? Well, that's if the other two are Magic Carps. Yep, another Magic Carp, so. 
I'm not even going to try and make another guess. I've got a feeling his last Pokemon is going to be, oh, I don't know, a Magikarp. Am I right? Yep, six Magikarps, Jesus, he must, he, he must be some kind of uh, legendary fisherman to have six Magikarps, he must be well known. And even the Magikarp sprite looks surprised. Oh, <gasps> six Magikarps! Yeah, even I'm surprised. Darn Magikarp. Yeah, if you at least evolved some of them into Gyarados, then... Yeah, you would have done slightly better because um, Ian's uh, attacks are not very effective against a Gyarados. Okay, now that's better. A Sea King. People like Sea King, right? Well, at least better than Magikarps anyway. But then again, Magikarps don't evolve into something as cool as Gyarados, so... Hmm, I could be wrong there. A Golden, right. Just Razor Leaf it. Because hopefully I shouldn't be that far away from um, Pallet Town. Ooh, 6668 EXP. Hmm. 666. Number of the Beast. Bye bye, Seeking. And uh, nope. A final seeking. Eh, uh, well, Mega Drain, since I've only got one Razor Leaf left. Thank you for your health contribution. Dang. Alright. No, that's Pokedex. Uh, Dylan. Okay, some grass. Random battle. Tentacool. And it's level 10. Yeah, I'll just run from it. Okay, here we are. We've made it back to Pallet Town. We have now fully made the full circle. Mumser. Thank you. Yes, they are. They are the awesome Pokemon that I can find. Okie dokie. Let's not bother walking all the way back to um, whatever town it was. Pewter City, I think it was. Or was it Viridian? Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, I think I may have made a slight error. Hold on. That's Palette. We need to go to Viridian. Because I know that the gym was somewhere on the top right of the town. Let's see, is it here? Yep, there it is. Yay, he's moved. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I can remember now because it had that old guy, the one who tries to catch the weed, who also seems to be quite famous among uh, the Pokemon series, even though he only appears in Gen 1. Yo, jam the making. Okay, so this jam is a mystery. Uh, okay, so no wonder his portrait on um, the trainer menu is... Uh, as a question mark, but at least you know that he likes ground type, so that'll make things slightly easier for me. My Pokemon will cower at the crack of your whip. <sighs> oh, sorry if you heard that, I'm having some coffee. Right, and you've sent out an Arbok. Hmm, I don't think Arbok's a ground type, but it may use ground type moves, so... There we are. Oh, you just woke up! Wow, that was the fastest sleep ever. Uh. Okay, fine then. Toxic. Den effect. 
Uh, so does that make Arbok a poison type then? Well, I don't know. I've, I've never even had an Ekans or an Arbok in my uh, team before. You paralyzed me. He's really paralyzed and here's more George. Ugh. And you lord Ian's defense. Not very afraid of it, doesn't matter. He goes down anyway. Taurus, uh, no. Can I put you to sleep? Without you waking up? Oh, Taurus is faster. Okay, how can something that big and bulky be faster than a plant? And Taurus goes down. Awesome. I need great level 50. Good. Now I can uh, take him out for a while. Youch! Whiplash! Yeah, I don't think you want to get Whiplash. I've never had it, I've never known anyone who has, but I can tell it's something not nice. Right, we'll put Dylan in the front, because after all, the guy said this is a ground type gym, and water's also going to be good against the Pokemon here. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Hmm, well... There are different types of martial arts, and people may have different opinions there. But, you never know. Right, well, you're a fighting type, so... I'll just use Skull Bash on you. Okay, so, so far we've had what I think is a Poison type, and now we've had a Fighting type. So, I'm probably guessing the trainers here have a mix and match, which is what I mentioned in many videos ago, which could be good. Um, but the gym leader is probably all ground type. 47, very nice. Achoo! Achoo! Alright, stop sneezing because it's reminding me of uh, Luigi from Dream Team Bros. Because yes, I have actually been playing that for a while and Mario and Luigi G Dream Team Bros is a pretty good game, it's definitely okay. So if anyone's a fan of the Mario and Luigi RPG series and you don't have a 3DS yet, then go out buy one and get yourself Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros. Because it is definitely an awesome game. It's also kind of fun when you get to pull on Luigi's uh, moustache and stuff whenever you go into Luigi's dreams. And Dylan is poisoned. Great. And I don't think I've got any antidotes. Needle King. Hmm, I don't know, have we seen a Needle King before? I can't remember if we have. And why the hell would you use an X attack? You just waste a ton. But, I'm not complaining, because after all, all these X attacks and stuff are probably good items if you know when and how to use them. But me, I never do. Yes, you were beaten. Okie dokie, right, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next video, we shall continue on through this gym. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave and heal up, and I will meet you back here at the entrance. So I shall see you guys then. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue.
Giovane.